God is still God. He's still on the throne. He's still doing things that He said He would do. He's still meeting our needs whenever we call upon Him. If you got your Bible, don't you turn with me tonight to the Matthew, the seventh chapter. We're going to read a little bit there with God's help, and we got a couple of places we're going to be going to. But you know, it is always wonderful to know that we can call upon God at any time, and He always hears. No matter what time, day or night, we call upon Him, He hears. Seventh chapter of St. Matthew, and verse 7, it says, Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh, receiveth. And he that seeketh, findeth. And to him that knock, it shall be opened. Now, let's go over to uh, Luke 11, chapter of Luke there, and uh, read a little bit there in the 11th chapter of Luke. Luke 11, 9 and 10. And I say unto you, Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be, and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. <laughs> Now, that's about the same thing it said over in the seventh chapter of St. Matthew. So that, that lets me think, brother and sister, that God has got something that He wants to do for us. Now, let's go on over into the 14th chapter of St. John and read a verse over there. Fourteenth chapter of Saint John and verse thirteen. And whos and whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Now, you know. I was thinking on this here today. I was thinking, you know, people are always needing something. And they always need God to do something for them. And brother, all we've got to do is just start knocking. Start knocking at his heart's door. Start calling up on him. And he will hear us and he will answer. He'll give us whatever that we have a need of. We go on down through here and find uh, right here in the 14th, I mean in Matthew 7. It says, uh, let's see here in the, the ninth verse, or what? And, or, let's see. What is it? In the ninth verse. Matthew 7 and 9. Praise the Lord. The devil got me hung up on that word. Praise the Lord. Anyway, the devil is a liar and a father of it. Praise God. Hallelujah. I tell you, have you got one in there yet, man? Okay. Or what man is there of you who if his son asked bread, will he give him a stone? 
Or if he ask a fish, will he give him a serpent? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto you, or to your children, how much more shall your Father, which is in heaven, give you, or give good things to them that ask him? Now, you know, we're not going to, if our son asked us for a fish, we're not going to give him a serpent. And if he asked for bread, we're not going to give him stone. But we're going to give him just what he asked for. And that's why our Heavenly Father is tonight. And uh, whatever that we knock on his door, uh, and whatever that we tell him that we need, uh, uh, he's willing to give it to us. Uh, he tells us there, uh, uh, we go down through there and find this little bit further. Uh, uh, he said that he, how much more does he want to give to his children that will ask him? You know, I tell you what, it's it's important tonight that we uh, know that whenever we ask God for something, uh, He's going to give it to us. Uh, uh, God is is a God that is love. God is a God that wants to give us whatever that we have a need of. Uh, it don't matter what it is. Uh, uh, God is a God uh, uh, that wants to take care of His people. Uh, and uh, we can go to it. Uh, a lot of times we'll uh, knock a few times uh, and we don't get it the first time we knock. I uh, uh, will stop. Uh, uh, but we need to knock again. Uh, uh, God is a God that wants to give us uh, uh, whatever that we have a need of, uh, uh, whatever that we ask Him for, uh, uh, He's going to give it to us. Uh, uh, one past the scripture over there, uh, uh, he tells me uh, uh, this. He said, whatever that I pray for, uh, and I doubt not, uh, I shall receive it. Uh, and whatever that I ask him for, uh, he's going to give it to me uh, if I don't doubt. Uh, uh, you know, the doubt is something uh, uh, that will rise up in every one of us uh, if we're not careful. Uh, uh, that's the reason why the James uh, uh, 4 and 7 says, uh, uh, submit yourself therefore to God. God, uh, and resist the devil and he shall uh, uh, flee from you. Uh, uh, the devil's the one uh, uh, that will keep yeah. us from getting uh, uh, what we have a need of a lot of times uh, is we start down. That little word down uh, is a main key uh, uh, to knock us out of getting whatever that we have a need of. But God wants to give us whatever that we have a need of. And we go on down in the 14th chapter of St. John there and we can find out that he said these works that I do you shall do greater than these because I go back to the Father. Because I go unto the Father. If we call upon Jesus he wants to give us whatever that we have a need of. And I believe tonight that there are people uh, uh, here that have needs uh, and all we've got to do is knock at the heart of God's door uh, and say, God, I need this. Uh, and God is willing uh, uh, to give it to us. He's standing uh, uh, with it already in his hands. Uh, I heard this one time and uh, it's uh, several years ago and it, uh, it makes a lot of sense and I've thought a lot about it and I've used it several different times. Uh, you know, uh, this uh, man went up to the door of the Lord's house one time. He knocked. And he got his gift off from the bottom shelf. Well, he never did get up to the top shelf. And that's where a lot of people are. They, they asked him, they asked uh, the angel, said, why, what's that up on the top shelf? He said, you know, he said, nobody never goes up there and gets it. They cut off down here at the bottom. But God is wanting us to reach. And I tell them a lot of times, uh, I'm a shooting uh, beyond the stars. Uh, uh, because God has got something uh, up there that's, uh, that's not man's heart has never uttered into. Uh, a man's eyes have never seen. Uh, uh, what he's got repaired for those. Uh, 
of that loving. We need to realize that God has got something in heaven for each and every one of us. And we're all going to get a crown one day after a while. But we're going to have to seek Him and knock in His heart door to get it. If we don't knock on His heart door, we'll not get it. If we stop at the halfway shelf, we'll never get to the top. We've got to go all the way up. We've got to go all the way to the top to get what we get off of the top shelf. God has got some gifts that He wants to give each and every one of us. Every one of us has got a name written on the gift up there. If we'll seek Him and we'll knock at His heart's door and we'll say, Lord, I've got to have this need. You know, it may not always come in money, but if it comes in good health, that's one of the best things you can have. If it's money, just don't let it get this uh, so big that it'll uh, sidetrack you. Because I tell you what, money will sidetrack you. Amen. The love of money is the root of all evil. Years ago, this is, I don't I can't remember this how many years ago it's been, but I was wanting this job. And I went to church and I told them, I said, I want everybody to pray that I'll get this job. And it was loads of chickens. They'll send out to these stores for you to buy and take home with you and fry. Well, they prayed, God give me that job. First day of the week is Sunday with that company. And the last day of the week is Thursday. Well, Friday and Saturday, there's no church. So I stayed with that company for, I don't know just how long, but anyway, long enough that it got me cold on the Lord. And I was making $50 an hour, and I was taking everybody with me. Had nine states I was working through. And I was taking a cruise of people with me from my home. I paid their expenses there and paid their way back and, and paid their motel rooms and, and uh, bought a lot of their food for them and still cleared uh, $50 an hour. But one night, I woke up in Nashville, Tennessee. I lay flat on my back in the in the bed, crying out. My feet and my legs had done slid into hell. I done went in to Lake of Fire. I done seen the flames. None felt it. And this is why I have to face God for life. And I've read the scripture where it says the fearful and adulterer and the drunkard and the whore mother and all liars won't have their part in Lake of Fire that burns forever and ever and that's a place that I don't want to go but I had then slid into hell and I was reaching for the head of the bed and I was crying out God just save me Lord just save me get me out of this and I'll never get back in it again and God delivered me from it so here a few years uh, later about two, three, four years ago I guess wasn't that right? About four or five years ago, I decided I'll try it again. I told her, I said, I'll just make sure that I won't work on Sunday and I won't work on Wednesday night, so I'll go to church. But you know what? God delivered me from it. I had them tell me that, yeah, I'll, we'll call you. We need good boss men. We need somebody to... Uh, take her hands around and work. But you know, I never got the first call. God delivered me because He knows what I've done once before. And God never let me get back into it again. And that's what money will do for us if we're not careful. Money looks good. I'd buy whatever I want to buy and do whatever I want to do. But I was missing out with God. God's not pleased when we start missing out on Him. See, I, 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 
Lord knocking at his heart door again. Lord, just save me. Save me, Lord. Get me out of this mess. Get me out of this. I want to come back home to you like the prodigal son. The prodigal son, he, he told his father, he said, Dad, and he says, just give me my iron. Just give me whatever that I desire. I'm going to go. He went and he joined himself down there with a strange country guy. And he was feeding the hogs, the swines. Uh, and he, he realized uh, that they was more back at home than he had here. He, he would eat the slop with the hogs. But no man would give to him. But he rose up. And he went back to the father's house. As he was going back, his father looked way down the road and seen him come. And when he seen him come, he told him, he said, I'm going to kill the fattest calf. I'm going to put a robe on his feet, on his, uh, on his back, put a ring on his finger. He was locked. He was dead. But now he's alive. He's coming back home. And that's what a lot of us need to do. We need to come back home uh, uh, to the Lord and realize, uh, praise God, that He is a God. Uh, uh, standing there, we just need to knock at His heart's door uh, and say, Lord, just bring me back in uh, uh, to the fold, uh, into the fold where I need to be. Uh, uh, Stir me up. Get me on fire. Uh, uh, there's a lot of times uh, uh, we'll go to church and we'll get so used to uh, uh, going to church we'll sit on the pews uh, and not do nothing but just warm up the pews. Uh, uh, God don't need nobody warming up the pews. Uh, he needs somebody that will work. Uh, he needs somebody to be out there a slaving for him. Uh, uh, tell somebody the good news. Uh, uh, tell them, hey, uh, uh, God is a God that will save you. Uh, he will bring you out of this uh, uh, the mess that you're in and he'll set your feet up on a solid rock. That's what we need. We need to go forward. I warn the people. Tell the people. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Too many people today are lukewarm and they don't realize it. They need to be stirred up. They need the fire killed up in their life. They need to knock on that door. They need to knock and say, Lord, here I am. Come back to me, Lord. Give me what I need. And let the Lord come back to us and minister to us. So thank God, hallelujah. I'm glad that, that we can go to Him. And that in the seventh chapter right there, in the seventh verse, it says, Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. That's what we need to do. That should be every one of our desires. Is to knock, and it will be open. Seek, and we shall find. Now that's what it's all about. You know, I thank, I thank God for Brother Franklin here. He's a seek and he's a knocker at God's heart's door for this church. And if this church will knock and seek God's face, then we'll get something to roll. That's right. The wheel in the middle of the wheel will be eternal. We need to take our brakes off and just let the Lord have His way. Yeah. You know what? I don't know why it's going this way tonight. All I can do is obey God. I don't have the I don't have the education. The education I got when the Lord called me to preach, I couldn't even read John three sixteen. And what I've got, God gave it to me. That reason sometimes I get hung up on the word. I might miss a word sometimes, but I don't do it intentionally. I do it through a mistake. But God knows my heart. 
He gave me the education because I knocked at his heart door. And I said, Look, if you want me to preach your word, you won't have to teach me how to read. I quit school when I was in the fifth grade. And uh, when I turned 15, I left and went to Atlanta, Georgia. I left Madisonville, Tennessee, and went to Atlanta, Georgia at the age of 15. And I lived the way the devil wanted me to live. But when the Lord got a hold of me, He turned me around. He set my foot up on a solid rock. And I just praise Him for it. Amen. Amen. I'm praising because greater is He that's in me now than He that's in the world. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I tell you what, God is wanting to do something here tonight. And I thank God that for touching that sister's headache, moving it out. And sister, I told my wife to look over there and, and uh, she didn't find it, but we will find it and give it to you. There's a scripture in the Bible that says they make you sleep sweet. You read that verse before you go to bed at night and you go to sleep in peace in the Lord. I don't know, some, somebody in here may know where that scripture's at. It's in, I believe it's in Psalms, but we'll find it, Lord willing, maybe we'll give it to you there tomorrow night. But all you got to do is read that verse. He said he'd make you sleep sweet. That's just like over there. I don't know why, but Ezekiel 16.6 come back to me. That's the blood of Scripture. That will stop the blood. Ezekiel 16.6 will. If you're bleeding, Somebody else is bleeding. If you'll just read that, Ezekiel 16 and 6, you'll stop the blood. As I've seen it done before. You'll stop it, won't it, God's Word will never fail. will always come for what it's sent forth to do. It's sent forth here to do something tonight. To knock. To seek and find. That's all we need to do. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know where that scripture did go? I read it. I'm trying to sleep. Yeah. I read it. Yeah, I read it. Proverbs 3.24. Proverbs 3.24. Right, I write that down. Yeah. Amen. It'll make you it'll make you go to sleep. You can read that when you can't sleep, and you can go to sleep. Will it, will it work if you go to sleep for a while, wake up, can't go back to sleep? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I do that. Yeah, 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 it'll, it'll work. Can I lay down? Thank the Lord. I go to bed and I sleep hard for two or three hours and that's it. Well, just read that scripture. Thank you. Praise God. Hallelujah. We need to remember that. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Greater is He that's in you than He that's in the world. If you'll not, you shall find. Seek, you shall find. Knock, it shall be open unto you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Sister, if you want to come back to the piano. Praise the Lord. Does anybody here tonight need something from the Lord? We want to pray for you. We want to pray for you. We want to believe God with you. So come on up and let us pray with you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm not a very long winded preacher. I just want the Lord gets done, I'm done. That's the way I believe to do it. Right here.
Lord, we speak to that cancer, Father, right now. We curse that cancer to the wind. And we command that cancer to dry up. We go back to the Lord, Jesus, and we're covered. And give her a miracle right now, Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We praise you, God.
y'all want to be able to send me out, don't you? If God says for me to go, I'll be here. God, God, I'm not planning on going anywhere. But God, God's going to do what God's going to do. As long as this door is open for me, I'll be here. So we have to go ahead and come back a few times here and there. But praise the Lord. We need somebody. We need somebody. We need workers in here. We need people that get in here and build another Sunday school class. We need people that get in here and build a good, strong worship team. We need some good deacons that are coming to the church and will stand with the pastors and will stand with the church. Let's build. Let's build the body of Christ. Thank you again for seventeen dollars. And I thought we got the tour of that first half of that set. Almost four hundred and fifty dollars for the week. Actually we started collecting before the revival started. So my goal is at least the five hundred for the expenses. In the blessing with something above that if it's possible. So tomorrow night and Sunday, if you can bring an extra special something, you know, to send them away from there. They'll be here till Monday or Tuesday, I'm not sure what day, but Sunday night, revival's going to close, and that's the Lord says that to continue on.
our Heavenly Father. We thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to gather together to share in your word. We thank you, Lord, for opening our eyes and our ears and our hearts that we may receive and understand that has been, which has been presented here this evening. We thank the pastor from Tennessee to come down here and deliver the word. We thank the home pastor here. We thank you, Lord, and we ask that you watch over us and lead us, guide us, and keep us safe. We ask that you lead us, Lord, as we go home now. Keep us safe and lead us back again at the next appointed time. We ask this all in your holy name. Amen. Thank you, brother. Thank y'all for coming. See you later, brother. All right. Be careful out there. Thanks, y'all.